Hello YouTube, I'm your Legend here and I'm back again in the video. So, in this video I will be predicting Manchester United's lineup against Celta Vigo. Um, it's the Europa League semi-final and the first leg is on Thursday, uh, Thursday night and it's away. So it's at Celta Vigo's home ground and uh, it, should be a, it should be a good match for you know neutral fans. But for Manchester United fans and Celta Vigo fans, I think they both will be equally worried because um, although on paper Manchester United have a you know, amazing quality squad um, and Pogba and players like that. Um, they have got a lot of injuries at the moment and that will be worrying fans and especially the result against Swansea City at Old Trafford. Um, Swansea are, you know, battling for relegation and um, it's, it's incredible how Manchester United couldn't score one goal past them. You know, Swansea dominated Manchester United at Old Trafford and they got the goal to get 1-1 one, one draw and that's a massive point for Swansea because at Old Trafford... On paper, you expect Manchester United to win, but they didn't, and Manchester United performed very, very, you know, weak. Um, so hopefully that doesn't, you know, go on the players' minds a bit, um, because it could trouble them, and we could be weak at Celtic Vigo. Celtic Vigo, I think they've lost the last two or three games, so they're in a bad, they're in a bad run of form. Manchester United obviously unbeaten, and they've got a set record for Manchester United unbeaten run. Although you know it's not really a good record because of all the draws that we had. Um, so this team that Mourinho puts out will be injury hit team. It will be a, a weakened team, but uh, it should be enough on paper to beat Celta Vigo. But we don't know. I'll do my score prediction later. So let me get straight into the team. So uh, in my opinion, Sergio Romero will start in goal because he has been our Europa League keeper, and because there's been a lot of controversy around David De Gea to Real Madrid. You know, apparently it's a done deal. Apparently, James Rodriguez plus twenty million for David De Gea, which is absolutely amazing as a deal but obviously we're losing one of the best goalkeepers in the world and I do think that will happen regardless of what you know what, what other transfers we get but if we do get James Rodriguez in in return for David De Gea and plus 20 million that's you know that's an incredible deal um David De Gea is, is no doubt going to Real Madrid so that's an incredible deal that we're getting for him um but you know let's leave that to the summer so Sergio Romero will start now Luke Shaw is out for the rest of the season which is, you know, obviously a very, very bad, a bad thing for us. So we got, we're, we're sure, you know, we're lacking in the left back area. We're lacking in centre back. We're lacking in centre forwards. Um. So what I think will happen is Damian will actually Ashley Young will play left back. With it will be I think Bailey knocked up, you know, got a bit of an injury as well. So Daily Blind, and Matteo Damian will play centre backs. Um, we can't really do anything because oh, we're, we're lacking in so many options. Um, some people want Twan Zebi to get a chance. Um, I personally want Twan Zebi to get a chance, but not at Celta Vigo's away ground. Hopefully, if we win a good result here, like, f for example, 1 or 2 nil, then we can get uh, Twan Zebi a chance in the return fixture in the home leg against Celta Vigo. Maybe we can start Axel Twan Zebi because... Um, you know, we need to get a good result here for the youngsters to get a chance. If if this ends nil nil, then Twanzebi, I don't think Twanzebi will start because it's a risk. He's not played in the first team, he's not started a first team match um in you know in the high competition. And Celta Vigo are a decent team. They're not I'm not saying they're better than Manchester United, but they are a decent team. So it's a risk starting him in the away leg. But hopefully if you get a result, he could start in the home leg against Celta Vigo. So I think that's gonna be the back four slash five. Um, now in centre mid, I think Pogba and Fellaini will go straight into the teams, but um, personally I don't want Fellaini to start because he's shown his true colours, Fellaini is not a Manchester United player, and that's why I think Herrera and Pogba will start in the midfield, with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the camp position, uh, Mkhitaryan was rested, um, Lingard will start in right mid, I think, with Martial and Rashford up front. Now this team should be capable of beating Celta Vigo. Um, I'm, I might be wrong about Martial. I think maybe Lingard will start left mid and Juan Mato will start right mid. But I don't think Mato is ready to start yet and I think he'll be on our subs bench. But so uh, right now this is the best team that we can put out in terms of uh, quality. Maybe you can argue David De Gea, Tuan Zebe. But in my opinion Damian is much more experienced and he did a, he did a good job against Swansea. Um, you know, he did. I think he made more interceptions than any other player, despite only playing thirty-seven minutes, which is absolutely incredible. Valencia has been. Um, he had an okay game against Swansea, but um, he has been one of our most consistent players, so he has to start. 
Ashley Young has been good when he's you know called in to fill at left back. So this team is probably the best team that we could play against Celta Vigo. Um, some some of you might be arguing for Wayne Rooney, but Wayne Rooney's stats against Swansea are absolutely atrocious, and he played a very very bad game. So um, despite saying that he did score and he got us the point, but he could have scored another one, but Martial came in the way. That's just you know been our luck of the season. We had very very bad luck. Um, Pogba's hit the post the most times I think as a player. So this season has just been a hit and miss for us, and uh, we've not really gained that much consistency. Although we are unbeaten. But I don't really take that into a consideration because I would rather lose five games and win five games because you get more points than have ten draws. Um, but yeah, so this is this is the team that we could is potentially our strongest team against Celta Vigo. Will I think we will beat Celta Vigo and get to the final of the Europa League? Yes, I do. I believe we will. But I think it's going to be a really tight game. We um I'm predicting only one nil to Manchester United. We got that away goal, and at Old Trafford we hopefully should be able to beat them another one or two nil. Um, but you never know, we've been too inconsistent, you can't really tell which Manchester United will turn up. Will it be the one that you know beat Chelsea 2-0, that with the Mourinho Masterclass? Or will it be the one that drew against Swansea, drew against Stoke, drew against Burnley? We, we just don't know. But anyway, this is the team, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know your score predictions in the comments below. And let me know what you think will happen in the summer for Manchester United. Um, as always, please like, subscribe. It's been MUF's Religion and I'll see you guys later.